What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 14 jailbreak. Yes, a kernel exploit for a jailbreak on iOS 14, which is currently in beta, has been achieved by a security research company. So ABC Research posted in here, quote, here we go. They posted this just a couple of minutes ago, so I started recording. Now, they posted this picture in here, which basically says iPhone 12.8, and it shows in there a couple of exploit-related details, the uh, runtime, and of course, the kernel text address, which is that in there, the kernel base and the kernel slide. Though the kernel slide shouldn't be padded with so many zeros, they probably added 16 LLX in their uh, printf instead of the LLX, so basically it pads them with zeros, but that's not a problem. And then of course it says testing arbitrary write and of course read from the kernel. Now I have no idea whether to consider this real or not. There are a couple of things that make me believe that this is legit, but also a couple of things that make me believe this is not legit. Though it's worth mentioning that this seems to be a real security company. Now, they're not followed by anybody I know, and they do not seem to be following anybody I know either. So yeah, they are a little bit odd in the community in that we do not know about them. It's the first time I see them, but apparently they do have a real website in here, which does link to that Twitter. And although this is not real proof that this is a real company that does provide security research, Apple does have in here the security contents for macOS in which they do credit them for two different different vulnerabilities, both of which are actually quite serious and do give code execution. So if you search for them, if you search ABC, you can find in here that they do have a CVE, ABC Research SRO. It says a malicious application may be able to execute arbitrary code with system privileges. And they also have one by themselves back on July 24, so just a couple of weeks ago. And it's also a malicious application that may be able to execute arbitrary code with kernel privileges. So this one is actually quite powerful. It's what a TFP0 kernel like exploit would do. So they do seem to have real vulnerabilities found, real bugs found, and they are credited by Apple, so that's that. But we do not know exactly if this is indeed real, though I do tend to believe it is. So they see here, here we go, iOS 14 exploit zero day. So it's iOS 14 beta. Now they also posted this in here. Well, that was easy. iOS 13.6.1 jailbreak on iPhone SE 2020. And they posted this picture in here, which does show 13.6.1, which at the moment I'm making this video is the latest version available, released only a couple of days ago, so this is actually quite cool. And what they appear to have in here is basically SSH, so they are able to run various uh, system commands, like SWVirts in order to get the information about the iOS, and of course in order to get the model and stuff like that. And they also posted this, with the caption, one more step, iOS 14. And this seems to be a panic log from back on August 4, and they do hide in here the actual, you know, the actual vulnerability, or the information that can be used to actually deduce what the vulnerability is, but it does seem to be a legit panic on iOS 14. And it's probably this panic that they actually use to find out that there is a bug indeed, and they exploited that bug in here on this iOS 14 jailbreak. They do seem to be a real security company, though I never heard of them before. But yeah, this is actually quite cool. An iOS 14 jailbreak could be made using such a vulnerability. And of course, if they release it, we might as well integrate it in Uncover and get an iOS 14 jailbreak. But we don't know anything about releases for the moment for this particular vulnerability, but we do know that it's powerful enough that it allows them to run SSH, so it's probably powerful enough to actually run a full jailbreak. So you're able to run drop beer or open SSH, probably drop beer in this case, so that means that you already have arbitrary code execution, you already have the ability to trust somehow the binary or to sign it or to do something with it, and you're not sandboxed, which is actually quite good. So from this to an actual jailbreak, there are not many, many more steps. But yeah, this was on 13.6.1, currently the latest version available, and they also posted this in here, which of course means the same thing. They got the exploit running on iOS 14, so it's probably a matter of time until we see a full jailbreak from these guys being demonstrated in here. Now, as I said, I do not know if this account in here is actually the same account that Apple credit, because Apple doesn't provide the Twitter links, though it's the same name, and they do actually reference the same Apple security content reporting here in their Twitter, so hopefully they're not a hoax. Hopefully they 
are indeed the company that they present to be, but they do seem to have an iOS 14 kernel exploit, which would mean a lot for the jailbreak community because we would be able to jailbreak the most advanced iOS to date. So yeah, if you want to check out more jailbreak news and if you want to stay in touch with whatever is new in the jailbreak community, check out my jailbreak forum in here. It's called Jailbreak Central. The link will be in the description down below. It's jailbreak.se365.info and you can see the latest jailbreak news, get jailbreak help, get uncover help, or even talk about iCloud bypasses and downgrades. So definitely check it out. I'm also here from time to time. So yeah, thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.